I think this summit is a great opportunity to start a dialogue. I think there is a lot of work to, to do yet, but uh, uh, it's been a great experience to see people from so many different fields talking about AI. And I think one of the best uh, outcomes that this can have is realizing uh, what are the challenges that we face uh, in terms of technical capacity, in terms of uh, relationships, so what, what is the new uh, people that we'll need to hire both in the private sector and uh, within organizations and governments if we want to move this forward. I think uh, the technical capacity and the biggest understanding of AI that lies right now within the private sector and within academia, uh, with the deep understanding about what are the problems that affect the most vulnerable, are two things that need to come together. Maybe corporate social responsibility is not the, the right framework to establish that kind of collaboration. And we need to understand that uh, we will need to work together in a more deeper way. So trying to uh, have these kind of summits and these kind of dialogues so that uh, from the private sector they, they begin understanding what are the lacks of knowledge that they have around the problems of the most vulnerable and within the governments and the uh, uh, humanitarian organizations to understand what are the lacks on their technical knowledge about AI, I think that that would be one of the best outcomes of this kind of, uh, of summit. I would say that there is a huge market opportunity within the developing economies. And I think in order to drive forward this change on the private sector and on humanitarian entities, we need to understand that there is common opportunities here. Uh, that helping the most vulnerable is not just a, a humanitarian problem, it's actually a, it's a business opportunity. It protects us all, and we've seen that with uh, global epidemics in the, in the recent years, and, and what are the effects of globalization in terms of risk to, from countries to countries, and that we live in a world that is much smaller now. So um, realizing that this is not a charity. This is not helping people that uh, they live in a different world, but this is actually making a whole ecosystem is more robust and that uh, makes more business opportunities and that brings us together and provides value from a human perspective. Uh, I think that's the right way uh, to motivate these kind of relationships. It's not about uh, one part of the world and a different part of the world. It's just realizing that inequality is something that plays against all of us. I, I believe AI can, can tackle different problems. I've seen from a technical perspective that uh, AI has fall back uh, again into optimization, for example, in a deep way. And that's something that has been worked from many years ago, but uh, it's taking uh, new strengths. So um, uh, optimization is one of the big things in which AI can help. And if you look at the type of work that UNICEF does, there is a lot of things that have to do with optimizing resources. So if you look, for example, at health uh, or epidemics, how can we better estimate uh, the risk of an epidemic to spread? How can we um, optimize the resources that we put into the response of an epidemic, whether that's information campaigns and making information reach the most vulnerable, uh, or whether it's just the understanding uh, placing health centers in what place might help speed up the uh, delivery of vaccines or the delivery of, of medical tests. That's a problem that is highly complex in which artificial intelligence can, can actually help uh, in, in finding the right answers to put all these limited resources together uh, to help in such a complex a scenario. Um, I believe the other thing that AI uh, can do is actually to process very complex uh, complex uh, problems and uh, communication is one of them. So we've seen uh, strong advancements in the, in the field of translation. And translation is something that helps us communicate with each other and that helps coordinate, but also helps uh, consume content that is being generated or speaking up by different people. And that is something that will bring us together um, closer to realize that we belong to this one single world. And I see some uh, small examples in which artificial intelligence is being used to actually communicate more deep uh, um, communication problems. It's not just about sentences, it's not just about language, it's about emotions. So I believe that AI will play an amazing role uh, in uh, solving poverty issues or health issues by both helping finding better ways to optimize responses and optimize resources and also by creating that awareness of a, of a global community that we live in.